Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Troy Merritt's golf swing. He's won twice on the PGA Tour, and let's take a look at his golf swing and see what makes it maybe less consistent than he would like it to be. And you might compare this to your own swing, and if you have some of these issues in your swing, you can try to correct those to make you a more consistent player. So first, before we get into it, just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, smash that like button. So let's take a quick look here. So setup wise, I'm sure you can notice right off the bat that his spine is leaning toward the target slightly here in this video. And the problem with that is that the spine at impact will have to be back more in this position back to the right or his right. And so when you start your spine already leaning to the left, that means something's going to have to shift a lot on the downswing. Now what we'll see with his swing is there is a lot of sh lateral shifting going on and it just leads to his ability hand-eye wise, his ability short game wise, his ability mentally to play great golf is of course at the highest level. He's able to do things like shifting and tipping his body the wrong direction. He's actually tipping over this way. Uh, he's able to do all those things and still play really well and make a great living playing golf. But that is less than ideal. So that shift there, the tip over, and now of course, the, the hips are gonna have to fly this direction over here, which they do, which then at some point that will rewrite or correct the spine angle. But all that shifting and moving makes it very difficult on a player's ability to control the club face as it's coming through the hitting zone down here. It will be less stable, harder to control on a day in and day out basis. So he shifts it to the right, tips over, slams him to the left, jumps up and flips it. Yeah, look, you know, you can tell physically wise, crazy flexible, you know, super hand eye, amazing mental game. All those things add up to a PGA Tour player. But once again, he's making it harder to be consistent than a player that doesn't have all that shifting where the spine's tilting from this side and then back to the other side. From a down the line view with an iron shot, once somebody has that reverse pivot working, we tend to see the club getting a little steeper on the downswing, even for really good players. So we'll see here the club's up to plane, slightly flatter halfway back than some players. And then in that classical flat wrist position at the top, and then a little steeper move there. Once again, the hint of the reverse pivot, if it's still in there, then he's gonna have a little bit of a steepening move coming over. Anyone that reverse pivots is going to get steep in the transition. That's a steeper position there than you see some players. Then the, once again, tour player bowing it down, hands back up higher off the plane, which once again, you're gonna see all the angles changing because that pelvis is sliding back and forth and that changes everything at the bottom. And the higher the hands get off the plane, the tougher it is to control the club face at the bottom. There's gonna be more twist and more rollover. But once again, great player. He's on the tour, he's won twice. He's going to control it and he's going to have his days, his weeks where he is Troy Merritt, the tour player, play great, make a, a million birdies. But day in and day, day out, week, week in and week out, you would not see that consistency uh, for, that you would see from a player who doesn't have the hips sliding around. One last swing here we'll look at with the driver and we'll see how much the angles change as well here. So we know from the one video, he tends to be leaning toward the target a little bit, the upper body, the open shoulder look. A flatter takeaway. There's that sort of kind of ultra squatty look on the way up, which I'm not a fan of that simply because chances are the more bent your legs get on the back swing, the more they're gonna be used to get up and out of the swing and sort of jump, uh, come out of it on the downswing. There's that little steepening move there where the hands get a little steeper, shaft gets a little steeper in transition. And once again, if you've seen any of the other videos, that angle's steeper than a lot of players that are really solid, consistent drivers where they would have it flatter coming in. And there's the handle way off the shaft plane where he started. Now, part of that could be the cameraman moving around, but you can see there's a lot of raise up of the body and the hands coming way off the plane. Huge change in the angle, which means there'll be a lot of face rotation at the bottom. Tougher to control. 
for sure. And so we'll have to wait and see how his the rest of his year unfolds. And especially into the final round this week. Okay, lastly, we'll wrap it up with this clip here. I know it sounds I've been critical of this swing, but I've just feel for a player that has to work on trying to control the hip motion and then control the face at the bottom. It has to be challenging week, week in and week out. But with all that said, here's Troy Merritt proving me wrong with his little steeper downswing and perfect impact and a nice dunk round three at the Rocket Mortgage. So thanks again for watching. If it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. And we'll see you in the next one.